Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on replacing the spark plugs in your 5.4 three valve engine. Everybody knows that those spark plugs are prone to breaking. In a video I did probably about six, seven years ago, I was one of the first people online, video wise, to post that the best way to extract the plugs without them breaking is to do when the motor's hot. At that point in time, I replaced the plugs with the one piece and I went back to the Ford ones this time around, but unfortunately even the new Ford spark plugs are still two piece design, but with over 200,000 K, I don't expect to be changing spark plugs again. So let me go over some tips and tricks, uh, some things that you need that are greatly going to help you out. First tip to make your life easier is to go to the car wash and wash your motor get all the dirt and everything else off of it let's talk about some tools here this is the spark plug tool that's designed for these engines it actually helps out a lot and if you don't know what kind of plugs you have this is the broken spark plug tool remover kit it's a uh, great to purchase this have it on hand because you just never know and now the big one is we're going to talk about spark plugs. If you go for the OEM brand, there is lots of counterfeits out there. So you got to be careful where you buy them. I bought these ones from Rock Auto, so I don't have to worry about counterfeits. The counterfeits are starting to come in this new packaging. But one of the big things you got to watch out for to know if they're counterfeit or not is that on this spark plug, the lettering is kind of like a light gray. Now on the counterfeits, that's gonna be dark. And you can also look closely at the welding there too. It looks like it's like, almost like TIG welded on. And on the counterfeit ones, it's uh, gonna be look like it's soldered or brazed. So you wanna keep that in mind. So I just washed the engine, makes it a little bit easier to get at. I got the MSD plugs. One of the things you wanna do is remove the negative battery terminal and to get to the last two on the passenger side, you need to disconnect the ECM plugs, pull the ECM or PCM and the bracket behind off. It makes it easier, but I'm gonna start on the passenger side or driver side first. So the coils are held in place by a seven mil screw and then the electrical connection right here, you wanna squeeze that tab and then pull up. Now this is important, once you pull your coil out, you can see all the dirt in there. You want to blow that out before you remove the plug. Last thing you want to do is remove the plug and have dirt fall in the engine. So this is where you got to be creative, use all sorts of extensions, maybe a swivel, to accommodate which way is going to be the best to get each plug out. So this is with the spark plug tool. The champion plug that I took out was bigger, so I couldn't use it. Also, it doesn't hurt to put a dab of dielectric grease. So the second spark plug on this side starts to get a little tight. This is your PVC. And on the back of this green tab, there's like a little lever you can kind of feel it slide back and then you pull it straight up. I sprayed it down with some WD-40 before I removed it, just makes it easier. One thing I do want to point out is that you want to put some anti-seize on this part right here, not on the threads, but right on this part here, because that's what gets stuck in the head. As you can see from turning it out, you can see the carbon that was built up around it. Now the two backside ones are the ones that usually give people the most hassle. So nothing special to get at that back one. I used a couple extensions, just kind of make it easier to ratchet. So with that last one to remove the coil bolt because you got the EVAP line in the way. That's how I'm doing it. That back one's a little tight, but I got like a medium length extension on there. Goes underneath the EVAP line. This is a prime example why I went back to the OEM plugs 
because it's got that bridge across. These champions don't, and over time, that part can widen. But here's a prime example. This plug was really tight. And you can see it's all corroded and crap in there. So had a little bit of struggle getting that one out. That one would have broke off for sure if it was a two-piece plug. Well, if you got this side done without any issues, congratulations. Now we're going to deal with this side. Going to remove the PCM first. Connected. Pull these back. Pull them back a little bit more. There we go. Pull those plugs off. Two bolts hold the PCM in. My bad, there's actually three bolts. Well, the PCM just kind of sits in the cradle and then you can remove it. I like to remove the bracket as well. It gives me a little bit more hand access to those back two. So you can see right here without the PCM and bracket, it really opens up things. Use this alternator battery line just clips on the side there. And then you got this crankcase line. So pull that tab back. You pull that off. And then there's the green tab right there. Do the same thing, right? You don't need to remove the line. Just kind of get it out of the way. And it gives you more room. First hole passenger side, long extension, all you need. Second one on the passenger side, same thing, long extension, no special tools. Third one in, long medium extension will work. That very back one, I'm using a medium extension. Sometimes I find spark plug will get stuck in the hole and it won't come out even though it's loose as i sprayed some just a little bit of wd-40 in there and then when i'm taking the plug out when my socket's on it i kind of give a little bit of a twist to kind of help pull it out of the hole because that carbon locks the plug in there and now before you start her up make sure that everything you took off you put back make sure all your coil electrical plugs are on if you remove this line, make sure that it's back together. That piece is put back on. That line is connected. Your ECM plugs, I don't know why that one popped off, are back, can only go one way. So you don't have to worry about mixing them up. And if everything looks good, reattach your battery. And hopefully uh, it doesn't start knocking when you fire up. All right, moment of truth, see what happens. There you have it, brand new Ford OEM plugs. Seems that it's running smoother too. So I'm gonna leave a link down below to the original video where I had used an impact to pull the plugs out. Now from doing it both methods by hand and the impact, some of those plugs came out really hard and I understand why those ends will snap off. That's why I'm a firm believer doing it when the engine's hot because the metal's expanded, all that carbon is softer. Impact gun gives it that quick break and hopefully it'll spin it out without busting off that end, hopefully. I also want to point out some people say to crack the plugs spray the hole with like wd-40 or something and let it seep down i'm kind of on the fence with that because even if you crack the plug there's no guarantee that that wd-40 is going to be seeping down if you look at the profile and how the plug is and then how it's going to have to work its way through the threads and then down to that other section and then down to the last piece i think that might be a little bit hard to do and also depends on how much WD-40 you spray in as well, because then I would recommend having all your plugs removed, keep them out, and then crank the engine over without any spark plugs to make sure not a whole bunch of WD-40s has settled in the engine that might cause issues.
This is the last time. Hopefully I'm going to have to do the spark plugs in that truck. I said that the last time I did plugs, I didn't expect to keep the truck as long as I have. But uh, my tips and tricks are, do you need any special tools? Absolutely not. I got it done with multiple sizes of extensions. That Ford spark plug tool works great. However, you obviously got to have the Motorcraft spark plugs because they're the same size. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I want to thank you guys for watching.